In this Tech Talk video, we're going to show you how to create a Trimble Access aerial image background using Google Earth imagery and a Trimble Business Center workflow. So I'm going to start by opening up Google Earth and zooming into the area of interest. Once I'm happy with my framing, I'm going to click the Save Image button up at the top. There are some map options. You can get rid of some of the elements of the map to clean it up. You can also choose a resolution. And then once you're happy with those options, you can hit the Save Image button. You're going to save this image to your computer. OK, now I can minimize Google Earth and open up a Trimble Business Center uh, a Trimble Business Center project. I've already imported my control points. These control points I'm going to pair up with some pixels in the image and I need at least two control points. Preferable um, three or more um, control points is going to give you a better geo-referenced image. So at this point I'm going to drag my JPEG file that I downloaded from uh, Google Earth into my uh, into my project. I can drag and drop and it should land somewhere near your control. So you'll see the place image uh, the place image pane open up on the right hand side. Up at the top we'll see a georeference image button. We can also click the georeference button under the home tab to open up the georeference image pane. Now we're going to geo-reference this image with the control. So I'll first click the Add button, and then it wants us to choose a pixel, and then define that with a location. So I'm first going to choose a pixel, and associate that with one of my control points. OK. I'm going to click Add again. And do the same process with another control point. And then once we have two points populated in our list, we can hit the Compute button. I'm going to hit the Compute button. And you should see now your control snap somewhere near the point or pixel that you, you selected. I can do this for as many points as I as I want to, to geo-reference the image. You need at least two to compute. So once you're happy with your image, we can click the close button on the geo-reference image pane and the close button on the place image pane. And then now we're going to choose the capture image button under the home tab. So with the capture image pane open, we can resize our window. This is going to affect um, the framing of the image that we transfer over to the data collector. So we want to position this to exactly how we want to see it on the data collector under your plan view tab. I can also turn off my control points under the view filter manager by clicking or turning off the layers. Otherwise your control points or whatever um, other points or uh, symbols that you have on uh, in the plan view, those will be also uh, visible in, in the image that we capture here. So the next thing to do is give it a file name and a location. So I'm going to save this to my desktop. I'm going to call it background FPI. I can save it as a JPEG or one of the other options in the list. I'll hit save, and then the next thing to do is hit the apply button. Actually, uh, I should mention that you can choose a, a resolution here. Um, the resolution is going to essentially affect how well the map is rendered or how fast the, the map is drawn in on the data collector. So at a, for a very um, high resolution, it's going to take uh, potentially longer to draw in this background map on the map screen of the data collector. Lower resolution is going to take up less memory. I'm going to choose high resolution and then I'm going to hit the apply button. 
This will take an image of the plan view and save it to, the, uh, to this location on your PC or the location that you chose from the Browse button. And then from here I can transfer that over to my data collector that's com connected to my computer currently by clicking on the Related Files button. Under the Related Files pane, you'll see that I have my JPEG file and I have a JGW file. I want to transfer both of those over to my uh, Trimble Access data, data Collector. I don't need to transfer over the GUI model, so I can choose None. I'm going to choose Trimble Access as my application that the file is going to. For both of my, uh, for my JPEG file and my JGW file. I'm going to choose All Files for Upload with Export. And then I can see that I have an active device. My TSC3 is connected to my computer at the moment. I can choose the Upload Files Now button. You'll see that the, the files are being transferred over to the data collector. So I can hit the OK button. And I can close out of the Capture Image dialog. And that's it for the process in Trimble Business Center. If you own a tablet, you can select your JGW and your JPEG file that we captured in Trimble Business Center and transfer those over to a removable hard drive or a uh, flash drive of some sort. You can also email those to your tablet. Okay, so now that we're in Trimble Access, we can add that background file to our map. To do that, we'll hit Options and then go into the Properties of the job. And then where it says Active Map, we'll click on the None button. And we're going to add that background map. We're going to locate where that background file was saved to. In my case, it was saved under my Trimble Data folder as Background FPI. I will add it to our Active Map list. We'll click on the file to give it a check mark and then hit the accept button. Let accept one more time. And then we can open up the map screen. And then there's our file. Thanks for watching this tech talk. If you need to contact us, send us an email at survey underscore support at frontierprecision.com and we'll see you next time.